This is year one, week 11. back on our normal walking path together and I've been thinking about what I said last week where you know about having a, a target weight and again I, I did that eight years ago I had to be below I think 225 pounds and I'm six foot two so I'm kind of just a big boy but I did that because I wanted to jump out of an airplane, which you see on my intro on every video, which was amazing, by the way. If you haven't done that, you might want to think about doing that. Kind of opened your eyes up to where you fit here in the world. But it got me thinking about this whole cyclical life that I've had, which is basically a thin cycle and a fat cycle and so on. And it got me thinking about the promises that we make and the promises that we keep to ourselves. So I have to say, I've, I've done pretty good at, gotta be careful, it's kind of slippery out here on the path. But I've done pretty good with the promises that I've kept for myself. I mean, I promised myself that I, I wanted to learn how to fly and I got my private pilot's license, I flew gliders, I flew airplanes for a few years. I promised myself that I wanted to become an aerospace engineer. That's what I went to college for, even though I never sent things up into space. You know, what else have I done? I wanted to become a sailboat captain. Aunt Cindy and I are both sailboat captains. And we've sailed boats in the Abaco Bahamas, the British Virgin Islands, Belize, St. Lucia. For my 50th birthday, I actually want to captain a big boat in the South Pacific. And by big, I mean 50 foot plus. And I'll make that promise to myself and I will keep that promise. So I've done a lot of stuff in the world, but it seems like the one promise that I haven't kept to myself is about me, my health, my body. I think I've done a pretty good job with my mind, but I really kind of have failed at the whole body thing. the promise to myself and to my body I very easily start just lying to myself about my health my body food exercise and to me lies to yourself is what I just call bullshit so to me bullshit is when we lie to ourselves which means we come up with an excuse not to promise ourselves something. And that's what I need to work on. I need to work on stop bullshitting myself. So being a sailboat captain, one of the things that we love to do, and that is, we love to have a ceremony, a celebration, which is basically just an acknowledgement of some event. And so I need to celebrate that I've just been bullshitting myself for the last eight years since I jumped out of an airplane. But you see, it, that what should have been liberating and 
the start of really me new but that's not how I had it in my brain you see to lose all that weight eight years ago and to jump out of an airplane was I was a promise that I made to somebody else I had a friend who was a retired US Army Ranger and we went and saw a, a night shuttle launch down in Cape Canaveral or Kennedy Space Center we were actually sitting in Titusville and I told them we can go get some KFC chicken and we're gonna go over here onto the bridge and there's probably gonna be somebody so we can listen to the cockpit and mission control and launch control and all that and I've really gone off on a complete tangent here but I made a promise to him to jump out of an airplane because he told me this fantastic story about his 50th jump and he went through a cloud and it was just a amazing experience that he had and so I promised him that night that I would jump out of an airplane on my 40th birthday and I kept that promise to him but I didn't make any promise to myself so eight years ago after that when I left that airplane and so now my flight log was skewed I actually had <laughs> I had more takeoffs than landings because I jumped out of the airplane but I didn't make the promise to myself I made it to somebody else and that's why it wasn't this liberating experience about starting something new because it was a promise to somebody else and again yeah I just need to I need to make more promises to myself again especially about my body and my health So yeah, we just need to stop bullshitting ourselves. I need to stop bullshitting myself. So if you want to come along on this exploration, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you. Because here I am, as you've seen, 48 years old, and I still bullshit myself. Friday and decided to bring Maggie out here onto our dirt trail our, our dirt hiking and biking path because it's dried up enough to come out here on the dirt path rather than the paved path that you've seen me on a whole bunch funny thing is that it's just now started to rain on us but I've been talking about the bullshit the promises that we keep and don't keep to ourselves and I've got to tell you I've been sciencing this shit out of being less fat and the reason being is because I've now lost over 30 pounds since my week one vlog almost got poked in the eye there a tree almost got me what the hell so you can probably hear the rain now so yeah, I've been doing an excellent job at keeping the promise to myself to be less fat. And the rain's really starting to come down now. But I'm really proud and I'm really happy with myself because I've really kept this promise of being less fat, which means I've been eating better. I've been walking and doing my yoga regularly as you've seen on these vlogs. And it's really starting to pay off because, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm thinking less fat a lot more. Therefore, I'm behaving less fat a lot more. And therefore, I just am less fat. And the scale shows 
because now I've lost over 30 pounds and I'm, I'm not really looking at that target number as I've said before, but I do want to trend and that trend is less fat. And I've definitely seen a trend and I just feel better. <laughs> I can already do more, there's less strain on my body and everything. Maggie really seems to enjoy it because she's out just running around. So I'll see you in week 12.